Chairman Leon, Chairman Barham, Senator Lawson, Representative Kiner, Senator Vitkos, Representative Carter, and the entire membership of the General Law Committee. I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to testify in front of you today. With your kind permission, I would like to testify on two bills, House Bill 5347 and Act prohibiting the use of latex gloves at food businesses, and also on House Bill 5168, an act concerning the method of payment made to alcoholic liquor wholesalers. On House Bill 5347, an act prohibiting the use of latex gloves at food businesses. Allergic reactions to natural rubber latex are extremely common. It is believed that almost 1% of the population, roughly 3 million people, are impacted with latex allergy. Reactions to natural latex or rubber can range from allergic reactions, which you can imagine could be mild, moderate, and can be severe, life-threatening reactions. Reactions can be delayed, occurring about 48 to 96 hours after the exposure, the delayed reactions. And then, of course, there are the irritant reactions, which can happen many days after the exposure to the natural latex gloves. This afternoon, I'm just going to be focusing on the use of natural latex gloves in restaurants. Currently, three states have some form of legislation or the other banning the use of latex gloves in restaurants. Oregon, Arizona, and our own neighboring state, Rhode Island. New York and Massachusetts have some form of legislation in the works, and I'm told other states in our nation are interested as well. There are alternatives to latex gloves. Latex can cause severe life-threatening reactions. So do we have an alternative? And the answer is yes. Nitrile gloves can be used when there's a potential for contamination with body fluids. In that situation, vinyl gloves would be inadequate. However, in the restaurant business, in food handling, vinyl gloves are more than adequate. In my medical practice, nitrile gloves is what I have to use because of the concern about contamination with body fluids. I could not use vinyl gloves in my office. When I evaluate a patient for possible latex allergy, it is a major undertaking in my office. I have to make sure that the staff members are informed so those with latex allergies do not show up on that day or at that particular time. I have to make sure there are notices up in the office in my practice telling that a latex allergy evaluation is underway so other patients coming into the office are aware that latex is being evaluated on some individual who may be allergic to latex. And the reason for this, as I mentioned earlier, the potential for severe life-threatening reactions that can happen when people are allergic to latex. So in the past, the reason for using latex and latex alone was a very simple one. It was the only gloves available, and when the alternatives came, the costs were prohibitive. But now, I'm glad to inform all of you that the cost of most of these alternatives have become extremely reasonable, and in some cases, even better than the latex gloves. The nitrile gloves that I use and anybody uses in a medical practice, now their prices are comparable to latex gloves. And the vinyl, vinyl gloves that I'm requesting for the restaurants are far less expensive. A box of gloves of latex 
and nitrile is about seven, seven dollars for a box of a hundred. And the good news is vinyl gloves is only five dollars and fifty cents for a box of hundred. You can just imagine in a restaurant if latex gloves are used and then you and I go there as their customers, as their clients, informing the restaurant that I'm allergic to latex. And the, and the restaurant is aware of that, you know, is going to cooperate with us and make sure that the food that I eat, the food that you are served because you're allergic to latex is not contaminated with the latex allergen. Unfortunately, that's not enough. That's not adequate enough if those gloves were used in the preparation of the food for someone else. That preparation, that cross-contamination is adequate, unfortunately, in many a case to cause severe reactions and in some cases life-threatening reactions. In conclusion, from a medical point of view, it is necessary that we use latex gloves in restaurants. From an economical point of view, it behooves us to use vinyl gloves in restaurants, so it is a win-win situation. We do not use latex gloves for the medical reasons because of the possibility of an allergic reaction of anaphylaxis. We do not use latex gloves for economic reasons because vinyl gloves are far less expensive. So we hope that you would consider and make it mandatory that we do not use latex gloves in our restaurants. I want to thank you for your consideration in this matter.